Hi everyone, welcome back to Play Mechanic Simulator. Here we are, job 2460. Still on the Tiger Moth at Netheravon Airfield. Here we are, mechanics named Taff. Well, starting up the engine, I notice that it doesn't react when I switch off the left magneto. Make sure it's fixed by 12 o'clock. Okay, fix the problem with the left side ignition system. And this is a time thing. So we've got time to complete five minutes. Oh, crikey. Right, left side, left side. Here's the left side or my left side, right? Let's go. Straight to it. So the left side will be this side. Let's um, get this cowling off. Oh, it's the purr of those. Right, let's have a, a quick loop see. Um, oh, yeah, the magnetos. Knackered. What's about the ignition wires? Oh, they're not too bad. Okay, so we've just got to get that out. So, um, let's get this off then. Slide that out. Do I need to take the top off to get this out? No, I don't. Clock's ticking away. Let's have a quick look, make sure there's nothing else as we're here. Um, oil filter's got nothing to do with the magneto, but um, cylinders are all okay. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I might just have a quick look on this side to make sure there's no issues with this magneto. That five minute uh, limit should be okay. So I'm wondering if this is going to be a little bit of a training thing. So when we're on the front line with a Spitfire, that we've got, you know, five minutes to fuel and uh, rearm an aircraft. Because that would be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? Be, it'd be nerve wracking at the same time. Right, all that's looking pretty good. Uh, so it's just a fit. Uh, we might have to check the um, spark plugs as well. If we can do that. Uh, let's try and repair this thing then. Nice, nice easy one to start. Nice. Oh, tricky one. I think I got it. 100%, look at that. Have we got one more? I think, can I? There we go. Where's the spot? There it is. Oh, crikey Moses. Oh, I missed that one. Unsurprisingly. Right, part restored. Let's get this uh, magneto back in then. Uh, I think this is all looking pretty good. Let's uh, zip, zop, zap. Fix the problem. Left side ignition system. Done. Okay, we only needed two minutes. Oh. I must admit, I do like the, when, the time when we've got, you know, to just sort of faff around and uh, do what we want to. All aircraft parts need to be installed. Eh? Have I not done something? Oh. Oh, that could have been awkward. There, there we go. That's better. Brilliant. <laughs> Just left the old hood up. Oh dear. Right, fix the problem. Spare parts saved. Oh, oh, we are so close to that magical 500. Right, let's get our next job, and hopefully we'll push through that 500 barrier. Okay, here we are, job 2471. Still on the Tiger Moth. It's time for the monthly inspection. Take the engine apart and fix all worn parts. Crikey Moses, I'll be here all day. There's fat thought, thankfully, no, absolutely no uh, time uh, limitations on this, so that's okay. So let's get these cowlings off then. This is gonna be a big job, I feel. Uh, we can get the, we get the propeller off. I suppose we should, we should inspect everything as we go, shouldn't we? Crankshaft's fine. Propeller is pristine. Spinner black plate is okay. This thing, air screw, yeah, it looks okay as well. Champion, right. Uh, let's get that off. Get the propeller off. Then we get the front cowling off, and we'll get the, the top and the side cowling off as well. So we get really into this uh, engine. So it's poking you through the eye, but we're okay. Um, right, let's get this off. Boop. Nope, missed. Boop. Boop. Okay, get the top cowling off. A couple of screws. The side. Championi. Champion. 
This old bird's on a lot of flying, isn't it? It's probably training a lot of pilots. Right here. We're winning the war, right here. It's wonderful news. Right, let's have a good old inspection then, shall we? That looks fine. Should we get in a little bit closer so we can actually see what we're doing? How's the engine cover? That looks fine. How's that engine cover? That looks fine. That looks fine. That's fine. I'm not looking forward to if we have to change the cylinder because those um, gasket heads were impossible to find last time. Okay, that's all looking good. Ignition wires, they're looking fine. Uh, magneto, I've just replaced that, so that should be fine. Timing gears, yeah, they're all good. Oil filter, champion. Um, pressure filter, we've replaced that recently, haven't we? Oil tank cap is fine. Air intake, that's fine. Carburetor, that's fine. Induction pipe, fine. Right ignition wires, oh, they're, they're a bit shoddy. We need to get some ignition wires. So we'll check the spark plugs as well. Can, hello, can we, can, we, can we actually just get a little bit closer? Why are we standing in the opposing county to try and do this? We just can't see what we're doing, right. Um, so that's looking reasonably good. We may have to have the, the top off the uh, engine and have a a proper good look inside to see if there's any um, issues with the with the uh, uh, the shaft in there. Um, we'll, we'll come to that. Let's just let's just get the obvious issues out of the way. Let's get this ignition wire off. I don't think we can repair an ignition wire. It'll just be a replacement. Let's um, check on the spark plugs. That one's okay. Hang on, on this. There we go. Support bar, cross member strut thing, whatever it is, is causing a bit of a grief. Right, so we've got a um, a dodgy spark plug there. Right, so let's just have a look at our inventory. Are any of these things repairable? Didn't think they would be. Oop, as I walk into the engine. So we need right ignition wires. Oh, God, oh, blimey. I couldn't get the ticks in. Lovely. Alright, let's get this done. Um, sparky plug in first. Is anybody else thinking this is far too easy? It's not going to be just this, is there? Um, so, I think... We're going to have to uh, take the top off the engine. How's the old exhaust? That's all fine and dandy. Well, that looks okay, but obviously job's not done, so there's definitely uh, some other things afoot. So let's get this off. How does one get this plate off then? There we go. Maybe we can just shine a torch in and poke our nose in here. I doubt it. I doubt that'll pass the uh, the inspection, right? Zibbity doo da, all the way along here, all the way over. Whoop, missed a couple, and along here. Right, cup of tea time. And we we take notice at these points that we haven't heard the roar of the uh, the mighty Merlin recently. Wait. Do I hear a distant rumbling? As if summoned. I can hear a rumbling. There they are. There they are. Oh, hang on. Oh, I can't. Hang on. Oh, God. Hang on. There they are. They're coming over the trees. I wonder what happened to these boys then. Oh, we're done. Well done. Oh no, we're halfway there. Okay. Made a nice bit of entertainment to uh, distract us from the laborious task of pulling the bolts out of the uh, engine 
cover here. Right. Oops, the camera's going a bit crazy. Right, oh no, we've got one more row. Then we got the joy pinner all back together again. Yay! And I'm reading some of the comments. Yes, if only mechanics were quite this easy. There we go. Let's have a good stick our nose in here. So, how's everything looking? Piston rod, that's all good. Piston itself is all looking good. That's all fine. That's all fine. Let's get these camshaft bearings. Uh, it says fine, but it went silver. But okay, that's that's good. As long as it registers, it's okay. That's all fine. That's all fine. This one. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, camshaft itself is fine. Done those. I've done those. Well, that's all. That's all looking pretty good, isn't it? Um, I may not necessarily needed to uh, have removed that, but one less thing to worry about, I suppose. Um, so we've got the hmm. Okay. Well. Oh, I guess. Hang on. So hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. What? What? What did the actual task say? It's time for the monthly inspection. Take the engine apart and fix all worn parts. Okay, we might be missing an obvious one here. There may be um, something we should have probably checked. Why does that need to come off to get this out? That shouldn't be the case. That in no way is tied together. Okay. Um, thinking about it, we didn't check the spark plugs on this side, and I bet you there's just one dodgy spark plug. And we took that engine off again for no real uh, reason. Why didn't that one detach? There we go. Uh, let's have a look at this. Yeah, there we go. Jeepers creepers. There's two dodgy sparks. Do you know what, I'm, I think I'm, I'm, I don't know why, I, I just feel like I need to strip the engine every time, but we're going a little bit overboard on this. Good job there wasn't a time limit, although a time limit would probably give you an indication of how much work there was actually to do. Okay, let's get those uh, two sparks in. There we go. Climbing. I'm always looking for the bigger problem. That's the problem. That is the problem. Right, get that one in. Let's fire this baby up. The ignition wire was okay because we already checked that, so that's okay. Let's hitch that up. It still hasn't. It. It still hasn't said. Job done. So, I'm a thinking we might need to check the uh, piston rings and the um, the dreaded oh, bloody hell that's low. Um, the dreaded uh, 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 head gaskets. So we may not have um, stripped that down in vain uh, after all. Well, or we might have. All right, let's <clears throat> get these off. Excuse me. Oh, this one looks a bit. Oh no, maybe not. I thought that looked a bit rusty then, but it looks fine. It's push rods. We didn't check the push rods, the valves, and the other one, did we? We'll quickly do that if I can angle the camera. If I can get my angle of my dangle quite right, we should be good. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hang on. 
my fingers all over the place. Let's get this out then. We need to get the bracket out first. Let's get that out. Oh, that's a beautiful soundtrack, isn't it? Oh, tingles down my spine. Which one was it? Or was this one here? That one. Right, good. Right, uh, this may feel a little bit um, slightly... Why can't I do... I can't unbound from it. There we go. I was stuck against it. Um, yeah, this may f feel a little bit um, odd that I'm... Can't replace those. Um, replace them one bit by a time, but, you know, I'm waiting for the jungle drums to to, to churn to uh, let me know that they have been all fixed. All the issues have been fixed. Now, that's a bit cheaty, I know. But it, it's also a bit time... Uh, uh, time... Efficient way of doing things. Okay, that hasn't um, completely fixed the issue so um, let's continue our inspection uh, over here we'll get these off and we'll check the valves and the push rods here uh, and if they're knackered we'll get those replaced yep we've got another one there and we'll do these and if it still hasn't um, it still hasn't uh, confirmed that we've completed the task. Then we'll be looking to uh, put, check the uh, piston rings and, and stuff. So that's the plan of action. Oh, this has got to come off, has it? How does this come off? I only want that. Oh, hang on. How does one do this? We'll get the valves out first. How does this come off? Hang on. What am I missing? Ah. Sorry. There we go. Spark plug out. No, still. Oh, spark plug on the other side, of course. Nope. Spark plug. The spark... Ah! This spark plug, for some reason, I can never... Where's the... Where's the click point? Right. There we go. Let's undo all that. Apparently, I can't get that spark plug out. I, if I go into um, add a part, it can highlight the spark plug. If I go to remove a part, it doesn't recognise the spark plug, which is a bit odd. But um, let's try not to worry too much about. Oh God! <laughs> I think I broke it. Right. Right. Let's have a look. How on earth do we do this now? Right. So it's it's this one. How does that come out? We've got a. Uh Okay. So uh um are we gonna have to oh god, hang on. There we go. Now it does that. So trying to trying to control the camera is one of the uh, ah it just slid out. Perfect, perfect. Is that um, push rod is damaged and unrepairable? Okay, let's get another push rod then. I'm sure it didn't look like that. <laughs> Pretty damn sure it didn't. All right, let's pop this back in there. Oh, that's just something new, isn't it? We haven't done a push rod before. There we go. That's in there. And uh, let's take off the next one because I don't think this is uh, going to be faultless either. Right. Okay. Um, they seem to be all okay. 
but we haven't had confirmation that the job is done. No, still parts to do. So, head gasket and hang on, let me just check the um, parts because we took all that. Uh, so the head gasket should be in here. Hmm, that's interesting. It doesn't have all the... Um... Well, the, the piston and the piston cover, where's all that? That's not, should be in my inventory or we just dropped it on the floor somewhere. Well, let's have a look. We can, we can, we can check the, oh, the piston's there. You can check the piston rings on this one. That's fine. 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 Okay, so that's all that's all good and groovy. We can start building this one back up. Um Okay. That can all go on there. Fact, why did that all come off in one piece? I only wanted this bottom bit off so I can actually get to the That's interesting. And it also oh wow look that even connected that up. Didn't want that to. Um Well, I just want to get this this No. No. And that's saying because Spark plug's being connected again. So why, sorry, if I take this off, now would it allow me, would you stop doing that camera? I want to take that spark plug out, but it's not letting me. Now it will. It wouldn't let me take the spark plug unless I remove the ignition wires altogether. That's interesting. I'm not sure why that's the case. Now I don't I I only want to take off Hmm, I want to take uh, No, there's something something weird going on there. That's that's different to how it was last time when we when we took that off. I'm not sure why I'm slightly confuddled with that. I'll, I'll be honest with you. See, everything wants to. Okay. I'm pretty sure this black bit just came off on its own last time, or am I just imagining that? And I, I've got something. I'm slightly confused, as I say. Oh, that's better. No, because the cylinder barrel has stayed on this time. It didn't on the other one, did it? All right. Check, check the had gasket. That's pristine, right? We'll try and take that off now then. If I can find the click point. Oh, come on! Where are you? Where's this? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, no. We may never be able to get this off because I can't find the head gasket. Where is the click point? See, this this needs to be a little bit better, I think. I think they need to, to the devs, if you're watching this, if we could just get a, a better way of doing this. Because that's the head gasket. This needs to come off and I just... Ah! Got it. it it's, it's, it's kind of like... It feels like it's black magic sometimes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's, it's a bit weird. Maybe I'm doing something obviously stupid. But um, I don't seem to be able to find it. Well, that look, all looks all rather good. So let's build that one back up. Let's get the head gasket back on. Put all this back in. Right, I'm quite happy that that number one 
Do they, do they name them from the front or from the back? I just imagine so, the front. So that's going to be number one cylinder. It's all good and groovy. So we're going to rebuild this one. I'm quite happy that that seems to be fine. Oh, I thought I zoomed in, yeah. Right, let's get the old valves in. They're all good and groovy. Get that on. Get the bracket on. And that's one we can be satisfied is okay. Good, right. Um, we'll put the spark plugs and all that stuff back in a minute. Right, let's take this apart. Cool, blimey. Hopefully we've got one of those wheeled trolleys where we can lay on and uh, do this kind of work, because otherwise we're going to be awful cricking our neck. Yeah, we checked all the valves and the um, bush rods, which is good. Oh, the... Um, can't. Select the wires, there we go. Let's um let's connect the wires. We're gonna do it on all of them, so let's get out of the way. We got it on this side as well. Yeah, so let's uh remove that spark plug. Let's remove all the spark plugs in fact. So we don't have to keep faffing around with this. Good, good, this side. Lovely, right. Let's proceed. Quick visual inspection. Everything looks okay, doesn't it? Right. Um, which one we're we working on? This one here. Unscrew all those, please, boy. Good, right, I think I've got the head gasket checked and get the piston rings checked. I don't think there's much more I can think of. Unless I've missed something blaringly obvious down here. Which is which is entirely possible. That head gasket, right, so we've got the click point there. Okay, got it straight away that time. Um, disassemble that and let's have check these piston rings. I can't see because of the sun. Piston ring is fine. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, but rebuild. So obviously you've got to always remember that the previous um, job is probably going to be a building, building your skill set up. So uh, we did piston uh, rings and um, head gasket last time. So there's a good chance that one of them is going to be at fault. Screw, screw, screw. I love how they got the um, the welding fabrication marks and stuff there. That's quite nice. Some lovely textures in this game. And the sounds, as I say. Oh, glorious. You know what? I don't think there's been a better man-made sound than that. That is just amazing. Right, uh, we checked that one, haven't we? So it's just number number four we need to check now. And then I think I'm run out of ideas. They're all fine, okay. No. No. Okay, you need to get the valves out first. Of course I do. Of course I do. Sorry, I forgot that. Okay. 
Good. All right, quickly check this gasket then. I can't move the camera for some reason. Oh, that's all looking good. Where's the camera? Oh. Camera's got all in a bit of a fuddle. Right, zoom in here. Where's the head gasket? There. No, don't move the camera away. I won't be able to... Oh, you bugger. Oh, right. Head gasket is there. No. There we go. It's the only way I can do it. Right. Let's get this camera around and let's go back into checking mode. If I've done all this and these are fine. Oh, that's not the problem. <laughs> okay. Well then. So what? Why aren't we getting the uh, all complete then? If we've, we've done all the checks and it all looks rather okay. Do we need to um, take this timing apart? Do we need to get in there and have a little look maybe? Let's get the oil filter off then. I'm having a real deep dive into this one today. Yeah, it all looks fine, doesn't it? Let's get the old pressure plate off. Pressure filter off there. Magnet is off. It's all looking good. So how does... I'll probably have to get the uh, magnet off on the other side. No, sir. No, sir. Check that they're all okay. Things fine. Um, running out of things to check now, so I, I guess can we take this apart and see what's in here? the only thing left to me I think no one can say we haven't looked after this uh, aircraft I uh, can't spin the camera can I have a look at here can we not No, we can't do anything there. That just seems to be not a part we can replace or look at or check or anything like that. Oh. Oh, I don't know then. Uh, let's just put it back together and see um, if that is the answer. Maybe it's just the fact that it's all in one piece that so it's not actually triggering the uh, you completed it command. But everything is fine. Everything looks fine. Everything's yellow or golden and or green so that's fine or pristine so I'm at a loss to be honest with you we'll get all these put back in position and then double check but uh, everything seems green or golden and green or golden is the way we want it to be So that's all good. Let's get all that put back together. We'll get the um or get the cylinder back in. Get the camshaft back in as well, get the fuel filter on. Pop that on there. Lovely. Get that screwed in. There we go. Alright, let's just That's all I can think of, is that we we just need to rebuild everything because can we can we get would it be nice if we got the camera to where we actually want to look <laughs> thank you um yeah I, I I'm I can't think of anything else that is one final check yeah paranoia in me things maybe we missed something but I can't honestly see anything I'm confuddled and confused
which is the same thing really, but that's how confused I am. The, we check the exhaust pipe, we put the valves in. And before we do that, let's just do inspection. Yeah, those valves are okay. The push rods are okay. Put the bracket on. Let's get that built. We'll get the net one next to it, then we'll put the spark plugs in, make sure there's not we haven't put a dodgy spark plug in by mistake. Um, and then I'm, I'm, I don't know what else to do. It's a problem with these um, mechanic um, simulator games. I did it with um, car mechanic simulator as well. You can, you end up overthinking sometimes and just trying to strip everything down. Uh, Put spark plugs in on this side and we'll just check them for that they're all in good condition. They're all golden, lovely. Right, so we'll get the um, ignition wires on. That's golden. Okay, we'll put the cover on. That looks a bit battered, actually. How is that? That's golden. Okay, good. Um, Sparky's in on this side. Yeah, I don't know why that isn't triggering. We've done all the... Uh, Replace all the dodgy parts. I wonder if we can just sign it off anyway. And say, yeah, that's good enough. I've taxed worse, type thing, you know? Because that's gold, 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 green, or gold, gold, green, green, good. Uh, let's get the ignition wires on, which they were new, weren't they? Oh! He's just. We didn't have to do all that checking. Do you know what? I wonder what it is. Is that we took those spark plugs and ignition wires off. And we didn't replace them back on with new. We then started to look at the rest of the engine. That's... Oh my god. That's... We could have done this in five minutes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry everyone. Oh well. We got to really... Strip this baby apart, which is always nice. It's good experience for us, uh, and it's it's a very good lesson in patience. Uh, watching very slowly screw this uh, engine cover back on for the umpteenth time. Whew. Okay, but anyway, look. Let's let's look at the positives here. We are gonna push through that 500 point barrier, aren't we? We're gonna have to, and uh, that is only gonna be good news. And hopefully. Our days on the training camp will no longer uh, be important because we'll be moving to the front line. That is what we want. Let's get these bolts, uh, all these nuts, screwed in. Oh, that was that, that one's all pre-prepped, ready to go in. Oh, oh, oh! There we go. Oh, that one got this. Get they get pre half turn. Look. Oh, there you go. Now this one. Oh, there you go. Better get that one sorted out as well. Lovely. Oh. Sometimes you just overthink a problem. You just need to do what's. But then again, you know, if you're looking for um, doing an inspection on an engine, you don't. You know, you find a dodgy, but you don't just straight away replace that. If you then got to take, you know, you can take the spark plug out and the wires off to bring the cylinder out and check the piston and piston rings and the head gasket, all that kind of jazz. But I guess what we need is the confidence to say, no, we've checked everything. Let's put it back together. 
And that's the one thing I was lacking there, I think. And some... Uh, a good dose of common sense, probably. But... Ah, oh, we got there. We got there in the end. Um... Let's put let's put the front on first before we put the sides on. Cause that'll slot over there and over that one and hold it together nicely. Sort of the wind ripping it off. Oh. I thought this was gonna be one of those jobs we'd never complete. Now on the um the hard level, the experience level, uh, you can just sign a job off when you think it's done. Ooh, I don't know if I've got the confidence to do that, but maybe. Nice. Right, so if we don't get the Spitfire after this one, I might do some offline and bring us, uh, get us up to speed with the Spitfire. Why doesn't that want to close? Okay, I'll do this one then. It's a bit weird. There we go. Now, do we need to refuel it? No. Oh, we've done it. Good. Inspection done. Took far longer than cloud, but wait for it. Look at that. We're through. We're through. Oh, here we go. We've got a promotion. Aircraftman first class TAF in exile. Good. Well, it says TAF. 519 merits, three skill points. So we can get maintenance specialists with specialist knowledge about individual parts on the on site repairs will be much easier from now on. That would be pretty good. And then obviously, there are uh, improvements on that. Maintenance. Hang on a minute. Okay, maintenance specialist, special knowledge, so that's that one. An assistant allows you to automatically remove two screws at a time. We're definitely getting that one, and obviously you can get three, three, well, four assistants in the end. Early start, you convince the pilot to fill out his report faster and other, than others. Um, hang on. You convince the pilot to fill out his report faster than others so that so that, that's a typo there. Uh, that's why I couldn't read it very well. Uh, than others, so that you have five more minutes to work on the aircraft. That's a good one. Then we've got Eagle Eye. A good perception combined with detailed knowledge of the aircraft systems allow you to spot faults twice as fast with other mechanics. And then you've got, obviously, oil, coolant. I'm not sure what that is. Fuel. I don't know. Rockets. Oh, that's bolts, isn't it? Right, we've got three skill points. So let's definitely get an assistant. Oh, we've got a... Uh, should we get two assistants? Repairs would be easier. That would be good. See, I'm, I'm kind of thinking we get these three. Although two assistants would be smashing, wouldn't it? I think the timer one is a definitely one. We get an extra five minutes. That could be double our time on quick jobs, which is will be invaluable. These are this this text is a bit delayed because we're there and then we went there. I guess I went across there because that brought up that. Uh, and let's get the repairs. Let's start with those. Confirm that. We are now a skilled aircraft mechanic. Would you believe it? Right, let's see. Are we still on the Tiger Moth? Oh, bloody hell we are. Please check the undercarriage before the next flight. Well, that's going to be a two-minute job. Um, oh, let's do this now. Sod it. Sod it. Let's just do it. Uh, obviously, we'll refuel after we've done the, um, the inspection on the un undercarriage, because... Uh, we don't want to make unnecessarily heavy. Let's get the uh, tail jack in first. 
I'm not sure if that is a requirement for us to do it, but it will just be more stable if we get that done first when the wheels are on the ground. Lovely. Right. Inspection time. The wheels are fine. Why am I struggling with the inspection? There we go. I've uh, got a damaged wheel. How are... That's damaged. Yeah, this is, this is a bit clunk. Feels a bit clunky now. What have I done? That's fine. Okay, so we need to get those repaired. Let's check the tail skid as well. And see if our um, skills really do help us. And that needs to be... Well, we'll get this off straight away. Let's get this off. And this should be twice as fast. We've got an assistant. Oh, look at those bolts falling into the tin. Oh, yes. That's twice as fast. That's that's just awesome. Right. We're still, we're still crawling. All right. Let's get down. Um, so we need to... Well, we need to remove this wheel because we need to get that off, don't we? So uh, that's fine. Let's get this off. Yeah, that, that extra assistant to get the um, nuts and bolts off. Oh, that's going to be a godsend. Especially when it comes to stripping that engine. But it appears that um, we didn't get our, our beautiful Spitfire just yet. So, after this job, I'm going to do some more until we... Uh, well, let me know in the comments. Do you want me to continue on? And uh, I'll continue on until we get the Spitfire. Or do you want to continue to see more work on the, uh, on the Tiger Moth? I might put a... A pole up, if I remember. So if you have a look in the top right hand corner, you'll see a, a white circle with an eye in it. Um, that's okay, isn't it? And if I, if I, this is if I remember, and there'll be a, a vote on there. Go, you know, continue on to the Spitfire. Or, um, oh, nothing could be repaired. That's a frustration. I was going to check my new repair skill out. Or, um, continue on to the Spitfire, or uh, continue with the Tiger Moth. So let's uh, get some. Yeah, there you go. God, that was, that was... This is proving tricky. Getting ticks in the boxes. Right, let's get that in. Oh, yeah. This should speed up the jobs nicely now. Fortunately, they painted it in yellow, which is uh, perfect. Straight from the tooling shed. Brilliant. Right, let's hop over here. Let's get this one added. Oh, it's like a Formula One pit stop, this. Five seconds done. Well, they can do it even quicker these days, don't they? It's not like, they're down to about two and a half seconds. It's like crazy. But anyway, it's not really irrelevant. There we go. Job done. Uh, we just need to fuel her up. Was it fuel or oil? It's probably fuel. It was refuel. Right. Let's uh, get her down off the jacks. There we go. Can be a bit funky at times, but that's okay. Let's hop that there. Let's get this tail stand off. There we go. Hop that there. Once more into the breach with the ladder. <sighs> Bloody hell. <laughs> the ongoing battle continues. Uh, let's uh, get that cap off. Excuse me. Right now, grab the fuel bowser or the the fuel line from the bowser. Hop that in there. Hop off the ladder. There we go. Nice, quick, simple job. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. All primary tasks. I wonder if you could just sign it off now without actually tidying up and doing the uh, put the fuel cap on and getting the fuel line out. But you know we we are a job complete completionist, so we'll uh, we'll do things properly. Good, right? Our new skills evident on show there. That was fantastic. Right, we're gonna leave it there. Thanks ever so much for watching. 
Uh, poll in the top corner, if you recall, so you can um, see whether or not we uh, go straight to the Spitfire next or you want me to continue on the Tiger Moth. Uh, I'm happy to do either. I'm going to continue playing this game. I'm happy to record it and commentate on my my progress. So we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Thoughts and comments, as I say, in the section below and the poll, if I remember to put it up. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.